Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to show you how to create a city in a bowl. So let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is we'll delete all the other things. Uh, that's not good. Let's just get rid of everything here. Oops. Except the ball. What I did here is I took this photo and I masked it out already. So it's all set and ready to go. And I did a little a color adjustment. And there's no need to go into that now. You should just pick a nice bowl of anything you want. So this is not a great bowl, but I just found it online and I figured I'd use it. Also, not really a great picture. It's not fine quality, but it'll do for this particular tutorial. So let's select it and do Control C, which is Control or Command C, which is copy. Go back to our item and we'll just paste it in there. Okay, now that we have the city here, we want to lower the opacity. And I think I need to make the city go a little bit taller. So let's try that and then bring this back down. I would even go like that maybe. I just want to make sure the back of the city is covering the back of the bowl. And that looks pretty good. So let's come here and bring it back to full opacity and then hide it. And now we'll take the pen tool and we will go, let's select nothing. Take the pen tool and we'll go from here. And we'll try and make a selection around the bowl. We could fix that after if we need to. And maybe here. And then I don't know how far up we're going to go. So in the meantime, I'm just going to go all the way out here. We could fix, we can get rid of the rest of it later, but we can't see it right now. And now we'll go from the pen tool to the node tool because I could see some of this needs to be closer to the bowl right here. Let's just move that a little bit closer and maybe that one a little bit closer and that one like that. That looks good. So now let's go back to the pen tool and hit the button up on top here. It says selection. So we created a selection and now we go and turn on the background and we will mask it. We'll create a mask and there's the mask. And then we say Control or Command D to deselect, and we're ready. So we got this part. We'll adjust it later to make it better. But now we need to get rid of the top of the city. So once again, I'm going to take the pen tool and start right here. I'm going, and I'm not doing this perfect because once again, I will try to give you ideas on how to do the tutorial. You need to spend a lot of time to get the details correct. But for me doing this, I don't want the tutorial to go on forever and I'm sure neither do you. So let's just get the basics down and you can always fine tune it later. So I'm just snap, I'm just clicking and clicking and clicking just like this. And again, not perfect, but you'll see it's, it will be good enough for what we need to do. And let's help see how fast I can do this. I might be able to do it pretty quickly if because I don't have to be perfect. So here we go. Let's do that. I'm even getting rid of some extra little pieces of it because to me they're not that important for this tutorial. Here we go. And in fact, I am going to just get this building in because hmm, I can't get that. Yeah, I can. Now I can't get that building in. So instead of getting that building, I'm going to cut right down to here. Okay, now we move out. And well, I missed a spot, but I can fix that also. Okay, so now we make a selection again, and now we select 
the mask. Make sure the mask is selected. And then we fill the mask with, we add to that mask by filling it with black. And then we deselect. And there's some spots missing here, so we'll take the paintbrush and with a black, as long as you have the mask selected, we can just get rid of some of these spots right there. And let me go smaller here. And a little spot here, I think. And I don't like this little edge right here. So let me kind of get rid of that. Now that it's in the bowl, we need to do a la say layer and merge visible and that creates the bowl layer so now we can get we can hide these i'm going to just group them and hide that so now this is one piece that's it nothing else but one piece it's a pixel layer now we'll go to burn make sure the pixel layer is selected and we'll give it a 20 percent around 20 22 percent and shadows so now what we'll do is as we do this you see how it gets a little darker there. You'll see that I missed this and got some of the cereal in. Unfortunately, I'm working very quickly, but you should make sure yours is more perfect. I'm just trying to darken this area up because the edge of the bowl would be shadowing that area. And I think that looks pretty good. So let's go out and see where we stand. Yeah, I think I like that. And now what I'll do is let's add a fill layer over this. And we'll say, let's see, layer, new fill layer. And we'll give it a color. I'd like kind of a, yeah, I like that. So that's good. So that's the fill layer here. And over the fill layer, we'll add another layer. And... We'll take the marquee ellipse tool and we'll go maybe like approximately there and we'll say select feather and we'll give it a little bit of a feather. Depends on the size of your project. I'm going to say apply and then we'll fill it. I'm going to hit the D key to turn this back to black and white to turn our palette. If you haven't seen, if you don't know how to do that with the D key, check out my 20 tips, hit the D key, and now we're on black and white. So with black, I'm just gonna fill it. Now that we've filled it, we're gonna deselect and then move it right about here. And then in that layer, we'll do effects. Sorry about that. In that layer, we do effects. And Gaussian blur is the top one here, and we'll give it a nice blur. Just something like that, and we'll close it. And that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to duplicate that, which is Control or Command J. And this time, this the top copy I'm going to make a little bit smaller because it should be a little darker toward the center. And then as you fade out, it's lighter. So let's get back to the full picture. Okay, so the next thing we do is we go Layer live filter layer colors vignette okay and so now vignette we need to know what the exposure is going to be we have to just choose just play around and see what it looks like and i'm thinking much softer i think that's hard i want really soft but i want more exposure like that maybe a little narrower I'm trying to just get it so that the city shows more and there we go we get a little darker on the outside and I think that looks pretty good so there you go now you have a city in a bowl so I hope you like this tutorial and if you do please click like and subscribe thank you and have a good day